In today's video, I'll be reviewing my subscribers' trades in Grand Peace Online. All of these trades were submitted over on my official Discord server, so make sure to join that using the link in the description below. And with that little bit of intro out of the way, let's get right into the video with the first trade. In the first trade, we have Elo's Hammer by Sento and Dark Root for Zushi. In my opinion, the guy trading the Elo's Hammer by Sento and Dark Root could have definitely got more than just a Zushi for his Elo's Hammer alone. And Zushi for Elo's Hammer isn't necessarily a bad trade, but I've heard people get Zushi plus ads for it. Not to mention, he also threw an ad by Sento, which all things considered was a little unnecessary. The next trade is four SP Reset Essence and a Halo for Festive Lance. This seems like a huge win for the person trading the SP Reset Essence and the Halo, as not only is Festive Lance not purchasable with Robux, but it also requires beating the Krampus boss, which usually takes quite long. The third trade is both of the cores, so that's Kraken Core and Sea Beast Core, and the Coffin Boat for Gura and Marine Cape. The person in this video seems pretty excited. They're moving their camera quite a lot to be getting Gura for both his cores and a Coffin Boat. However, personally, I think this isn't too much of a win. I mean, they are trading two cores and a boat worth quite a lot of Robux for Gura. However, I think this trade is still quite a big win for the guy trading the cores because he seems happy and in the end of the day if you're happy with a trade then who am i to say whether you lost or won the exchange now this fourth trade is super unbalanced this person managed to trade coffin boat for not just mera but mera and Zushi. This is a great trade as Mera is worth a lot and Zushi also has significant value because of its status as a legendary fruit. So yeah, this trade was a huge win for the person trading the coffin boat. Now, the final trade that I'll be reviewing is this one. There are so many items in this trade that I'll just let you see them for yourself and I won't bother reading them out one by one. Some important ones to mention though are the prestige fruit bag, Tori, and then on the other side, just the candy cane. When I first saw this trade, I was somewhat confused, so I pinged everyone in my Discord server to get their opinion. After giving them 5 minutes to vote, the person on the left had 14 votes, and the person trading CC had 38 votes. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I agree with this, as I think it's hard to say left one without outright indirectly overpricing CC to some extent. Ultimately though, I would personally have to give the win to the right side. Alright, well this is where I'm going to end today's video. Make sure to comment what you thought about the trades shown in the video, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And yeah, as always, I hope you guys have a great day, evening, whatever time it is for you, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.